Hello, Spring Engine fans and Ludum Dare fans. This is Shadow Fury 333 with another Spring Cabal Ludum Dare showcase. The Ludum Dare 35 entrant from Spring Cabal, also well, which is titled Parts Needed, is apparently a game based around shapeshifting, because apparently that is the theme for Ludum Dare 35. And I should also not say apparently in this case, because I know full well that is the theme. It's about shapeshifting, and this game is. WASD based in the Spring Engine, which is actually a little annoying. For those of you not familiar, Spring Engine is an RTS engine, so this is actually kind of impressive, but a little bit restrictive. Not too bad, though. It's actually. It feels alright. So, yeah, WASD to move. And I have a bunch of cages. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, so let's see. I'm a spirit. And a bunch of other similar ones are in cages. I have no way of freeing them. And I have a body. It's kind of cool. Gotta say, this is really good use of the engine as far as shader effects go. Don't see this often enough. It's one of those things I imagine Balance Annihilation Reloaded will have a lot of, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Very thematic. I mean, the vignetting effect is really more useful in a game like this that's meant to be atmospheric than it is in an RTS game. It would probably get in the way from just... Actually, I know it will, because Akron kind of did that, and it got in the way. Bloody sepia tone. So what's going on here? I cannot touch these, but apparently they're good, because they have circles. I'm assuming circle means good, and X means bad. Either that or X marks a spot and circles... Well, it's not a trap, so it probably is. I'm going to guess that. But I can't do anything about those, so let's continue along. There's a hallway over here. Whee! Spring. Spring. Wait. Yeah, it's... It is an RTS engine, but you know what? This is actually... What I'm impressed by is the responsiveness. If if anyone has ever played anything that was trying to be like a first person type thing in Warcraft 3, for instance, or StarCraft 2, or like any of Blizzard's engines, this is quite the improvement, relatively speaking. Or at least it's considerably better. It's actually responsive. Like it's immediately responsive. But enough shop talk. Let's try to figure out what's going on here. So I have a body, or I don't. But I have no way of interacting with things, because I can't... I have a way of interacting with things, because I have arms! I'm guessing that was that's kind of the whole thing, is that... I'm not sure why you switch forms, but... You have arms. Or at least you grab stuff. I mean, it's called Parts Needed. It's probably why. Let's go in here, see what's over here. Hey, more souls in cages. Not sure these X's are, but okay. Oh, I'm guessing those are the souls in cages. All right. Can I do anything with these? No, can't move them around or anything. I thought I could. Oh well, can't move them around. They're static. There's no reason for me to expect them to be static, but apparently they are static, and... Okay. I'm gonna assume that circles are good. And my assumption pays off! The door opens! Sheesh, what is this place? Like a lab or something? I appear, I appear to have picked up ears. I don't know what does anything. These switches don't... I must find feet at some point. Do you do free when I use this lever? No, apparently something else happens. Well, that's strange. So I know that the top left one is probably the right one. And apparently the little character is very unimpressed. Swimming through the air like that. This guy's look on their face. Very grumpy triangle look. 
like a grumpy triangle. Frankly, I'm not particularly aware of the emotional states of most simple polygons. So I can't really speak with authority there. Except hexagons. Hexagons are eternally smug. Because they just know they can tile everywhere. Okay, so that's another soul. I guess I'm supposed to release these souls. I'm going to assume that is the objective. Seems a safe assumption. What's back here then? This, this is where I started. Just wondering, is there something back here that I get when I have parts? Maybe inconclusive. I don't know, but I know that arms are not enough. Hmm. Can't use those boxes for anything. Well, continuing along then. What else do we have? What's that noise? Ah! Not collision issues. Collision issues are not what I want. And... Hmm. Some texturing problems, but oh well. So up there was just ears, and it didn't look like anything more than that. Like, no gates or anything. No, no gates. That wasn't given any judgment, whether it's good or bad. The lever up there. That's the gate I opened up initially. There's another gate beyond that I can't open. Was there anything down here? Looks like no. Okay, so... What now? I might have screwed something up. Hope not. I mean, this is a game jam game, so sometimes, or more likely than not, than, say, it, I mean, okay, admittedly, professional games can be unwinnable. Oh, never mind, actually, it was a door open. That one's not, but this one is. Like, game jam's not as much time to test stuff, so it's possible? Hey, legs! I can step on things now! Even though apparently there are certain things I do not want to step on. Like those. That explains why you need to switch forms then. If you want to bypass everything and not interact with anything, you go into soul form. Otherwise, you go into body form. What the? Wow. Achieved nothing noteworthy. Thanks. That... That's really encouraging. So I guess I got the worst ending. All right, so I know body's here. Hands are over somewhere else. Depressing nihilism is to the right. We found that out already. I guess I can only go uphill from there, huh? Oh, that's a nose. Not sure what good it does me. I mean, the impression I'm getting right now is that every single one of these upgrades provides some additional means of interaction, but ears and nose don't seem to do anything. Mouth seems to end the game. Maybe I just don't get ears. Maybe if I get ears last. I don't know. Maybe mouth is not the end. Maybe it's not mouth, but it's instead when you get all the parts. That might be it. Okay, that was not going to accomplish anything, so no. Of course, there's a bunch of these that don't lead anywhere either, so I don't know. Okay, so that's where I got ears, if I so chose. Which right now I do not. And otherwise, going down, I don't know what else I'm going to get. Is it down here or down... No, it wasn't down here, was it? Oh, it was. No, no, it wasn't. That's just more... More crates, more open space. Nothing special. This is a really odd character design. It's like a weird alien 
like Gray's an alien rather than Xenomorph. Oh, it actually kind of has a Xenomorph head thing going on. With robot mix. Where the heck were my legs? They weren't back here, were they? I can't remember where the legs were. No, they were not back here. They were somewhere further up. Don't know where. Hmm. Well, this is annoying. And kind of time consuming. But, I mean, it's supposed to be an atmospheric game. I'll, I'll give it that. That's true. Atmosphere is a big part of this sort of thing. And there's definitely a bit of a foreboding atmosphere. But now I'm just trying to figure out where those legs are so I can open up some switches. Because I didn't achieve anything noteworthy this time. But I also only hit one switch once I got the legs. Okay, that was the door I needed to open to get legs. Or is it open by... No, that opened the cage. I didn't want to open the cage. I wanted to have all the cages closed. Because I wanted to, I don't know, not free anybody. See if that changed anything. Oh, wait. I know what it is. It's a lever up here with ears. I think. Or was there a lever? Yeah, there. The lever with the ears opens the door to the legs. Which then allows me passage to the door with the mouth. And that lets me possibly, once again, end the game in a completely anticlimactic way. Okay, legs again. What? Oh. Those just don't do anything. Okay. No, it's when you get all the parts. That's when it ends. I don't see anything noteworthy. I don't see any noteworthy achievements available here. I have a mouth. There are pressure plates earlier on. I could check out the pressure plates. Maybe there's something for freeing all the spirits first? Yeah, free those. There's another one I think needs to be freed by pressure, pressure plate up here where the ears are. Which I need to be careful not to get because the ears will end the game. Okay, so that's ears. It's pressure plate. That does free those souls. Not sure what that's for, but okay. I mean, unless you only achieve something noteworthy by freeing every single soul in the area. Not just freeing some of them, but all of them. Don't think there are any doors I couldn't open, though. Like, having legs allows passage to exactly one door. Okay. What does this do? That does nothing. Maybe it does something if I do it on its own. No one here, nothing here. Movement is agonizingly slow. Especially given that I don't really know where anything is and the environment's a little bit repetitive. It's like, where? It's hard to tell where I'm supposed to go in a way that... Like, the thing is, the other games that the Spring Cabal's done, they've been really good from a mechanical perspective, a core mechanical perspective. Even if it takes a little while, they've been still kind of fun to play. The Gravitas in particular. The gravity changing one, that was cool. But this... I don't know. It doesn't really feel like I'm doing anything. And I don't even know... Like, the thing is, there's all these endings. I don't even know what would trigger any of these endings. And I just don't really have any idea why I should care. There's not much in the way of any kind of mechanical loop. It's just a lot of walking. Can't say I'm a big fan of that at this pace. 
It also doesn't help that the leg animation does not line up with the movement speed. Like the feet don't plant to the ground, and that really does not help a sense of... What does this do? Nothing! Well, let's end this. Oh, hey, I got another ending. So there is something for freeing all the souls. Not sure exactly what's going on here, but okay. The souls have been freed. Uh-huh. I guess if you free some but not all, then you get that message. If you free... And then if you free none, I imagine you get another ending. So I'll try freeing none. That seems to be the next thing to do. At least this game doesn't take too long once you know where the parts are. It was just that one, the legs, that was the one problem I was having. The one single issue. Was le- oh wait, what am I thinking? Is this faster or slower? No, soul form is about the same speed. Never mind. It just doesn't have that weird dissonance of trying to- oh wait, that's freeing souls. Don't want to free souls. I want to be a jerk this time! I was already the hero. I was the hero last time. I'll be a jerk this time. That's how this will go. That seems like a relatively sane way of doing things. Okay. That one, then that one, then that. This one over here. That leads me to the legs. Which leads me to... Actually, let's just get the ears while I'm here. Let's do this as efficiently as possible. Now that I know that order doesn't seem to matter. This character looks really weird. Sorry, souls. You're stuck there. Because I'm going to be a jerk this time. Alright, so skip past these ones. I'm guessing the other ending involves hitting all the X stuff. So either I'll have accomplished nothing noteworthy, or I'll have been a jerk. Oh, what? Okay, I guess if you don't free them, you are their master. So that just leaves ending three, I think. Because ending two was save them all. Ending four was don't really do anything. Ending one is save none of them. And there's a bunch of X's on a lot of these things. Now, other than that one lever that you can't open the door if you have flipped, you have to flip it back. I'm assuming, and given the way that it's working right there, I'm going to guess that's how it works. Alright, so I need to open that to get to the legs. Because I'm going to guess that if I do, I can't do all four or anything. It's that specific combination. It's a very Duke Nukem 3D puzzle. Yeah. And then if I... Oh, it only goes down, not up. And then to the legs, might as, well, might as well grab the... Actually, no, I'm not going to grab the ears while I'm here. I'll grab the ears last. I'm going to go to that room last. Just hit all the X pressure plates and see what happens. Maybe something terrible will happen. Maybe I'll die horribly. I don't think so, though. This doesn't seem to be a game where dying horribly is part of the game. But you never know. Oh, wow, that killed them. Okay, I think this is the path to the last ending. Kill all the spirits. Yep, that's what it is. You either free them or you kill them. So we're going to, the, well, or you don't free them and then they're your slaves, apparently. Judging by the welcome back master message once I ended the game. How cruel I am. 
So we're not dying horribly, we're killing people horribly. Although I never said this was a let's die horribly thing, so... Yep. There was those souls, those ones up near the ear, there was the ones further down. Yeah, I think that's everybody. Okay. I haven't taken the ears yet, nor have I taken the mouth. But I'm fairly certain that is all of them. Which means I am the worst monster in the world. Hooray? Probably not hooray. I am the only soul left. <clears throat> I don't need those others holding me back. I wonder if you have to hit all the switches here to kill the souls, or if it's one per. Because I hit them before, and that didn't seem to make a difference. There's none in here, are there? No, I have... I am alone. And the last ending, presumably, assuming we did everything right, there are sacrifices accepted. Oh, okay. Well, that was the entirety of, of Parts Needed. A slightly creepy game in which you become a monster. Two thumbs up! Well, actually, I don't know. The core loop is kind of... It's kind of a walking game, so if you're okay with that, I mean, you saw how it all went. So that's their game. To be brutally honest, like I said, I know that the developers who did this can do a really good job with core mechanics, so I don't know what, why they didn't hear. But I think they just went for, they wanted to do creep me at, creepy and atmospheric, and this was kind of creepy and atmospheric. I mean, I'm just kind of morbid, so it's probably creepier for other people than it is for me. For me, it's kind of creepy, sort of. I mean, if I think about it, it's kind of creepy. But I tend to think about games and game terms. I'm just weird like that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. That is going to be it for me tonight. And I will not be doing another stream until next week. Because I'm going to be in Seattle at Northwest Majors. Playing Skullgirls and Guilty Gear Exerd. And possibly other games. But those two are the ones I'm actually in to try to win something. So that'll be that. Thank you for watching and have a good night.